Hey, me again. Today I'm going to be doing a special Ben's Wild Adventure episode on the American Bison. I'm here out west at Grand Teton National Park. And as you can see, there's a herd of bison behind me. The American Bison is also known as the American Buffalo. And it is the largest land animal in all of North America. It's 13 feet long, 7 feet tall, weighs 2 tons, and its horns are 2 feet long. And there's actually two different species of bison. There's the American bison, which lives in North America, and the smaller European bison, which lives in Europe. At Yellowstone National Park, right here are two bison. This is really close. I've never been close before. Now, normally these guys are dangerous, but we can coexist with them, and we're coexisting peacefully. See, this is peacefulness. We're all just standing here, and the bisons are just sitting here. They're not attacking us. They don't. They don't see us as a, as a threat or mean us any harm. Isn't that right, Mr. Buffalo? <laughs> He's looking at us, Dad. Bison are the only megafauna left on Earth. Back during the last ice age, there used to be lots of megafauna, like the mammoths and the prehistoric steppe bison, which stood eight feet tall, weighed two tons, had horns five feet long, and from horn tip to horn tip, the horns were ten feet wide. But now, the American bison's the only one left, and there is a, a bison for the mascot. There, there is a bison that's a mascot for the University of Colorado called Ralphie. They're juvenile bison, and they come and go. And there's even been some pet bison. There's one couple that owns two bison, a male named Wild Thing and a female. I can't remember her name, though. And there's another couple that owns a male bison named Bailey, and he rides in the back of their car. As a matter of fact, they actually pulled, removed the roof of the car and took everything out of the back of the car so he could fit inside. <laughs> There's a huge herd of buffalo right here, and there's some calves in the herd. The herd usually follows the lead cow. If any predators like wolves come by, the lead cow will move to protect the calves from, from the predators. And look at all these calves. There's so many of them. They're lighter in color than their parents. There's lots of calves in this herd. There's lots of buffalo here. There's some over here, some way over there. Off in the distance, way over there too. Wow. Look at the calves. Finally, buffalo calves. Look at all those calves. Here are some bison next to a geyser. They're grazing in the field, but they won't drink the water. The water's too hot. I think this was in Yellowstone National Park. Bison can run 40 miles an hour, and they have a clash force of 800 pounds per square inch. Well, I'm back in New Hampshire again. See you next time on another special episode of Ben's Wild Adventure about York's Wild Kingdom.